Let's look at problem number 5, 2. If m is equal to 2 kilograms, what is the tension in string number 1? Here's string number 1 over here. It's going straight off in the negative x direction. String number 2 is over here. It's identified by a 30 degree angle from the ceiling here. And if I had two parallel lines with this one line intersecting, that would mean that this, this line, this angle down here, would also be 30 degrees. So that's the angle from that direction there. And we also are interested in tension number three, which is the core that's connecting to the mass down here. To start this off, let's um, do a free body diagram of the mass. We know it's equal to 2 kilograms, and this mass will have weight equal to mg, and that will be equal to 2 times 9.8, or 19.6 newtons. Also, there will be tension 3 going up, which we don't know, but these th two forces will be canceling such that there is no motion of mass of the mass m. So we have that the summation of all the forces in the y direction should be zero and that will be equal to tension 3 minus the weight. So tension 3 will equal the weight will equal 19.6 newtons. So there's tension 3. Now we wish to relate that to tensions 1 and 2. We're going to focus in on the knot here and we'll notice that the knot is not moving so we have tension 3 going down tension 2 going off this way at a 30 degree angle and then tension 1 going totally in the negative x direction so there's our free body diagram of the knot however you know we probably might want to change everything to x and y components so we're going to break up this tension 2 into two components at a tip to tail which comprise tension 2 so we'll have a T2 cosine 30 degrees in the x direction and a T2 sine 30 degrees in the y direction so we can have a new free body diagram that looks something like this tension 3 equal to 19.6 newtons going down going up this is balanced by the component of tension in that direction T2 sine 30 that's what we have going on in the vertical direction and then horizontally we've got a T2 cosine 30 this way in the positive x direction balanced by all of tension 1 going in the opposite direction as a result of these four forces, there is no movement of the knot. So the knot is not moving. moving. Based on this, we can set up some equations. We know that uh, in the y direction, the summation of all the forces must be equal to zero. And we've got a T2 sine 30 going up and all of tension 3 going down. So we have tension 3 is equal to T2 sine 30 or I can say that tension 2 is equal to tension 3 divided by the sine of 30 and that would be 19.6 divided by 1 half which will give us 39.2 newtons. So that is tension 2. If we look now in the x direction, we know that the summation of forces in that direction should be 0 as well. And what we have is a T2 cosine 30 going off to the right, balanced by a, all of tension 1. So tension 1 is equal to T2 cosine 30 and so that would be 39.2 times the cosine of 30 
and that is 33.95, so we'll say 34.0 newtons. So that is tension 1, and that's what we wish to find. What was the tension in string number 1? 34.0 newtons. Thank you.